Hi everybody, I'm Gary and welcome to the Outdoor POV. Today I'm going to show you how to create a workout using Garmin Connect Online and the Garmin Connect app and then also get that workout onto your Garmin device and for the purpose of this video it will be the Garmin Phoenix 6X Pro Solar. Now I've used this method for quite a few different Garmin devices over the years, the 735 XT, the Phoenix 3 and the Phoenix 5X, yes that's correct, and you know fundamentally it worked for all of those devices. Each watch does have a slight different kind of menu configuration, but basically um, this method should work. First things first though, please give this video a thumbs up. If you enjoy it, please share it with somebody if you think they might be interested in it. And also please subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell. Keeps you informed every time you upload a new video. Also, uh, please check out the Amazon affiliate links below. You don't have to buy the product via the link, but any purchase you make within the 24 hour period on Amazon, or if you pop it in your basket within that 24 hour period, um, and then you make the purchase within 90 days, we will receive a small bit of commission from Amazon. It's 100% free to you, um, but like it's a big help and it really helps support this channel. Um, so yeah, if you could consider doing that, I'd really appreciate it. Thanks very much. Okay, the first thing you need to do is open up Garmin Connect on your computer. I'm using a PC, so a Windows interface, Windows operating system. Um, and when you get to the home screen, <coughs> excuse me, you move over to this left hand menu. Go down and training. Training might not be open, but if it's um, not open, then tap the arrow, then go to workouts. From there below, these two workouts and my workouts button, you'll see a little drop down menu. Tap on that and select run and create a workout. Now you've got the kind of default preset Garmin um, run template. First thing I do is change the workout name should have, um, I'm not going to call this PC version, just so I can separate them when they are on my watch. Tick that, don't forget to tick that. Then I've got the warm up, the run, the cool down. I'm going to delete the run because I'm going to do this as an interval session. Let me go over to the right here and um, you see the word add a repeat. So tap on that. There you go, this little grey box with the blue and a grey section inside. Drag the cool down below that, so we have the run and the rest. Um, I will set the. I always do the warm up and the cool down to a lap press. This just gives you more flexibility. Mainly if when you start the workout, it just might not be convenient if you did a two mile warm up and it beeped to start your workout. But I don't know you are in a busy street or something like that. So if you do the lap, so the bottom press, bottom right hand press on most Garmin device and or wrist devices. Bottom right hand button is their lap button. And that's quite a little, keeps the start of your workout pretty flexible. Then I will do the repeats here. We'll do five times. What we'll do is five times one mile. You can choose all these durations yourself. So we'll do five. Um, and then we'll go for a distance in this, for this field. And we'll set that in one, oh no. Do that, sorry, one mile, and then we have a rest of two minutes. So we've got the warm up to lap, the repeat to five, one mile, and the rest for two minutes. Then we have the uh, cool down. So I will save that workout. That workout is now saved. Um, let me just go back into the workouts and see if it is there. So we'll look for PC, PC the outdoor POV test. Um, there's two of them there. Annoyingly, I'm not too sure which one. We'll just delete one so we're not confusing things later and delete. Then I'll open up that up just to double check. That we've got the lap button and five repeats, one mile, the two minute rest. So that is that there. So when, now that you've saved it, you could, if you had a cable, um, you can send it to your device now on, on your um, PC. 
you would have to kind of, like I say, plug in your uh, watch into the PC and then you can send it that way with a kind of hard wire. But if you have the app on your smartphone, then that should be sitting in your smartphone workouts uh, section too. And what we'll do, we'll go straight over to the smartphone now and we will create a workout in the smartphone. So we'll show you the kind of how you do that too. And then we'll send both workouts over to your watch. Okay. You need to find the Garmin Connect app on your smartphone. I'm using an iPhone. I'm assuming that if you're on an Android device, this will be pretty similar. Uh, so yeah, tap to get into Garmin Connect. And then you, your first screen is your um, My Day screen. In the bottom right hand corner, you will see the word more with three little dots. Tap on that. And then you will see fourth from the top there, training press on that at the very top you'll see workouts press on that we've already got uh, what I'll do I'll, I'll delete that so that's the previous one I created the PC outdoor POV test um, now I will just create a new workout run and you've got your three uh, default settings there I will add a repeat Tap on that, scroll down to five, done. It already says uh, one mile in the run, but I'll alter the recovery to be two minutes. Press on that, see the duration, tap on that, and move that to two, done. And go back. It is actually uh, a lot simpler to create a workout in the app as opposed to on the desktop. So you've got your items there, I will delete the one mile run that was the default run setting delete then a hard press on the cooldown then you can drag that all the way down to the bottom and there you go as default it came in as a lap press that's good so you have your warm-up for the lap press five times one mile with two minutes recovery and then your cooldown that is fine you can add notes and everything to each of these settings if you uh, want to add a bit more information um, so we will save that and it will ask us for a name I will just call this I own work out um, save that that is saved they're both on the top we will now send these to the phone and the way you do that your watch sorry and the way you do that is tap on the workout and at the very top there you see a little blue image of a phone with an arrow Press on that and you get a tick and then that's been sent to your watch and again we'll do that with the phone one tick and that's it both workouts should be now on your watch but I always as a kind of precaution I'll go back to the my day screen and then I'll tap that little blue circle arrow sync and when that's finished spinning and should flash green Pretty confident now everything is on your watch okay so we created the workout online and using the app and now we've got the watch and what we'll do we'll go straight into that so we got the, the kind of main watch face there we'll tap the top right hand button to take us into the different activities and you got to run straight at the top you can scroll through that uh, once you've got the run press the top right again that will take you to all your different data fields and then tap that middle left hand button and there you go you got all your workout your courses your intervals etc obviously we want workouts so we tap on that top right hand button too and you've got your today's today suggestions fantastic there is our two workouts so um for argument's sake we will just take a look at the iphone workout they're both exactly the same uh, so top right so immediately yes you can do workout but let's take a look at it make sure it's correct um so the first stage is the warm-up until you press the lap then you run for one mile recover for two minutes and then you repeat those steps five times and then you cool down so that's fantastic so let's go back that's the bottom right hand button and you've got your main options so scroll up and down and then when you are ready to do the workout press the top right hand button do workout then you kind of get another option too when you are ready to start 
press the type, top right hand button and you can start the workout. Yeah, so that's it. Um, we've created the workout using Garmin Connect Online. We have created the work a workout on the Garmin Connect app and we set those workouts to the, your, in my case, the Phoenix 6X Pro Solar. It's a mouthful. <clears throat> and um, we've seen those workouts and then you have the option to, to do those workouts. Um, yeah, fingers crossed that helps. And if it does, give it a thumbs up. If you think somebody else might be interested, then please share it. And if you'd like to see more content from the outdoor POV, then please subscribe and hit the uh, notification bell. <laughs> Take care, everybody. See you all soon.